and that was where um, people were saying that Atlantis actually was, and you can see this from satellite imagery. So let's get into that then. So it looks as if there is another place that could possibly stand up as being this lost city of Atlantis, and it's not really where most people would think it would be. Yeah, yeah, but that's interesting because in, um, in 1915, if you look at the 1915 uh, report to the Smithsonian Board of Regents, there's an entire chapter in there about the search of Atlantis. Uh, so this is like looking for Atlantis up until, you know, maybe about a hundred years ago, this was a thing that you could do. Like major historical and archeological institutions were looking for this place. Uh, uh, Troy had been found maybe about 20, 30 years earlier. So it was known that, you know, these legendary places were potentially real and we'd found at least one of them. And since then, biblical archeology span uh, sprung up and now we found all sorts of other places that are mentioned in, in the Old Testament that people thought were legendary. So the, the tales may not be strictly true but the places they're taking the, the places that they they occur in seem to all be real places and uh so there's no reason to believe that atlantis is some exception especially since plato tells us repeatedly in the timaeus and critias that his his account of atlantis is true uh it, it's not uh, an allegory as uh some some people will claim uh, that that's Plato directly uh, confronts that in his own book. So the the reshot structure idea was popularized about six six years ago by a guy named Jimmy Corsetti, and he presents some pretty compelling evidence for it. But the 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 book brings out so so much more from so many disciplines that are all pointing to this area of the world. And, and a particular point in time where a series of events occurred. And if we look in the, the archeological, uh, geological, uh, and genetic records, we see all of these events happening, every single one. And so the story presented in our oldest uh, myths do appear to be true you have to kind of scrub the the supernatural aspect of it out to to kind of pull of thomas uh jefferson uh jefferson bible kind of kind of deal with with the uh with these these uh religious scriptures to to really figure it out uh but that is not to say that this this uh story brings you face to face with technologies that are have been and would still be today considered supernatural